You're welcome to physics class, and this is physics experiment on electricity, and this is part two in 2025. I am sure many of you will have a lot of argument. This is um, why, uh, where is your potentiometer, where is this, or where is that? I want you to understand that in the physics white paper, which I'm not going to make public, there is one thing I know that you are asked to do. You see that resistance, one ohm resistance, they say label X. Your, your experiment will be targeted at finding the value of that X, of that resistance, which is one ohm. But then the setup is going to come in any way they want to set it up in order to achieve that. So what we are doing is not an expo. It is to show you a guide of how this can be done. So if you are ready, get ready, have your writing material, let's get started. Now, from the diagram on the board, this is how I did my setup. This is the real start, and this is the battery, and this is the key, and this is the ammeter, and this is the resistance I am looking for, and this is the voltmeter. Now, remember in the part one, I use a potentiometer. Maybe I am going to combine all of them in one experiment to do. But for now, this is part two. Okay, now, this is how the setup is. You know, a lot of people find it difficult to work on electricity, and I don't know why. So what I have done here is to show you that it's just simple. Look at this set of battery, because I'm going to start from battery. Everything I'm doing, I am not going to apply any additional principle except following this thing I am seeing on the board, this diagram. So this is the battery. Now, if you look at the battery, this longest side is the positive, which is the positive, this is the negative. So from the positive, from this positive side, now looking at the battery, see? See the connection of the battery. Now, I entered one wire from the negative of the battery. The other wire is from the positive of the battery. I won't connect this, I won't connect here and here, no. Positive one, and then it connects to this place out. So from the positive, <coughs> I get to this part of the real start, which is this. Then this is the real start. The job of the real start is to, real start can do many things. It can control the current in the circuit by increasing or reducing resistance. Some people say it can increase or reduce current. Yes. Because whenever resistance is changing, current must surely change. So this is how you fix it. You move it up and down. <coughs> and when that is done, this is going to be, let me show you. As it is right now, if I move it away, it's, it's shifting and changing. All right? That is what you start doing. How did I connect it? See, I connected like this. If you're a new physics teacher or a student, you should know. If you connect from here, you connect the other one here. Some of them are based on their design it's because everything about real start is just wire, coil of wire. You may connect here and here or connect this place and this place. Anyhow you want to do it to be able to achieve what has happened between this ammeter and voltmeter, that will be fine. Then when I left there, I entered into this resistance, R sub X, which is the standard resistor. Now, if you check there, you will have two lines, two wires. All these straight lines are wires. Look at this junction. At this junction is what I'm also having here. Here, this is the junction. So we have two wires from the junction, actually three, one in and out. According to kickoff principle, which I'm not going in, this is the um, resistor, and the resistor goes back to the ammeter, goes back to the ammeter. But <coughs> you will always connect voltmeter in parallel. What do I mean parallel? You target what you want to measure. When you target what you want to measure, you connect the voltmeter across it, not on the line. This is ammeter. Ammeter is on the line. This is in series. Why voltmeter must be connected in parallel, and voltmeter is always targeting a resistor to measure. All right. That is how this setup is all about. So what do we do? What we are going to do is connect the wire as shown above. So I have done that. You say by varying the real start, obtain five values of voltage V and the corresponding current I. I think 
All these SS1 students, physics students, SS2, you show them how this is done. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to close the key. If I close the key, I will now vary this. Slowly, depending on how good your real start is, I am moving. Was I notice any change? The current is in changing, actually. Yes, at this point, I am going to record. What I'm seeing here is, remember parallax error, what I'm seeing here is 0 0.3 for the voltmeter. So this is 0 0.30. For the ammeter, I'm seeing 0, okay, 0 0.3. 0 0.11. Remember, I am reading the down part because I am connecting it to 3. So the same thing here, the, they are serving dual purpose. So this is 0 0.11. Not really, a little above 0 0.1. So 0 0.11. So this is going to be 0 0.11. All right. Now, the, somebody will say, ah, what, which resistor are you bringing in? Because there is no value of the resistor written here. So any little change, that will be changed in voltmeter and there will be changed in ammeter, you record them. All right, let's go to the next. Because once you do that, don't change it. Just leave it there so that you can from there keep moving. I am going another one. Okay. <clears throat> this is... What did I, 0 0.3? No. <laughs> that value, I will look at it. But then this is 0, 1, 2, 3. 0 0.3. The current is 0 0.3. 0 0.3, yes, 0 0.3. This is 0 0.3, 0. Now, let me check this. The first one, this is, okay, let me, let me find what that is. All right. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, I'll keep, I'm keeping that. I have 10 lines from 0 to 1, and this is 10 lines. The first one is going to be 0 0.1, okay. Yes, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, okay. So that can be 0 0.11. 0 no. What I will do is I will repeat this. I will repeat this because I, have, I already have 0 0.11 and this is not up to 3. No, this cannot be 0 0.3. Let's start afresh. I think I'm missing the, vo the voltage and the, this one. So let me start afresh, please. Let me be sure of what, where I'm recording my current and voltage, if it is the same place. All right, so I'm closing. All right, so let's read together. This is 0. 1.9 ammeter, right? 0 0.19, not up to 0 0.2, 0 0.19. So ammeter is 0 0.19, please. Correct. <clears throat> so this is going to be not up to 0 0.1. So it's going to be 0 0.05. Okay? 0 0.05. All right. All right. Let me increase a little again. Good. This is 0 0.1, and this is 0 0.4. 0 0.1 for V, yes, 0 0.1 for V, 0 0.10, and 0 0.40, yes, correct. All right, so I'm shifting it again. This is 0 0.15 for V, 0 0.15. 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 0.56, 0 
0 0.56, 0 0.56. All right, let's do one last one, one last measurement. All right. Okay, so this is how, let me open the battery. Remember the precaution number one, I avoided error due to parallax while reading the meter rule. Sorry, not meter rule. The volt meter and the ammeter. I avoided error due to parallax. That's number one. Number two, you can say I, I ensured tight connection to avoid fluctuation of current. That means tight connection, if they are all not well tight, the voltmeter and the ammeter will be fluctuating. Number three, you can also say that I, I ensure that I open the key when not taking the reading to avoid loss of energy of the cell. These are a few precautions you need to take while carrying out your experiment. I am sure that is well understood. You can use the comment section to communicate further. Thank you for being part of this class. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and always also share. Have a nice day.